Hey guys, thanks so much for being here. I'm Heather. We're going to get into Bad Fit Fun Part 2. Part 2. Oh my god, this is it's not even just going to end here. There's going to be a Part 3. I'm pretty sure. I'm not even sure how many parts there's going to be, but anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah. Let's get into it. Um, if you guys don't know, if this is your first video with me, I will be doing a giveaway, a really, really big giveaway, multiple giveaways when I reach a thousand subscribers. You know the deal with that. I'm not going to bore you, so let's just get into it. Got some really cute earrings. They're hoops. It doesn't even tell you the brand. This isn't what I thought it was at all. It says beeswax wrap. I don't know. I was thinking in my mind that it was going to be more of like parchment paper. It says right on there beeswax wrap. But apparently I can't read and comprehend at the same time. In my mind, I thought I was getting more of like parchment paper, like sandwich wrap. Or hold it and make it look cute. Whatever. For whatever. You guys get what I'm saying. So what came, stuff is so weird, it's like, it's stiff, like, like, it smells like waxy, because it looks like linen, but it's just coated in, like, um, beeswax. The more you work it, the softer it gets, you hand wash, keep away from heat for obvious reasons you're going to melt the wax that's in it. It shows it right here like it's fabric with wax on it and then it like molds over. So the small one I opened up and I've been working it like crinkling it up and then opening it back up. Did you guys ever do that as a kid? You take a piece of paper, wrinkle it open and wrinkle and open, wrinkle and open and then eventually your paper turns really soft. Um, if you haven't tried it, try it. But anyway, so the more I wrinkle it and then open it, it, it's becoming more, you know, it's not so stiff. I think that's kind of interesting. It leaves a little bit of a residue on my hands, which I'm not real hot about, but this is really interesting. So anyway, they had Sigma brushes. Sigma brushes. The F79 Concealer Blend Kabuki Sigma Brush. And then they had the S15 Gel Mask. And then the F74 Air Domed Buffer. So that's exciting to find some Sigma brushes at a discount. I think I almost didn't get this bag because I have so many bags. So I believe in my giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers. I will be giving away like a bag or two because I mean honestly I have too many. This one will not be part of the giveaway. This thing is friggin cute. Okay so it's really wide. It's super soft it's a, like a crossbody and then you've got like this it just kind of slouches on you know like on your side and it's just this big open it's so cute and then it just attaches with a magnet just like in the center so it hangs really really cute off of your body i don't know is this normal maybe i don't so like in the center of the bag the seam. I mean, maybe that's normal. I don't know. It looks like it was like the seam ripped and then somebody, then maybe I'm just noticing it because this bag is really big. Interesting. But you guys, I got another bag. I have another bag. I think in FabFitFun part one, I opened three bags. This is my second bag in this video. 
do you, do you, are you sensing like a trend? Mally Lily. It does have like a shoulder strap. So that's nice. I don't know. Maybe I'll give this one away. I'll have to pull out, see how many more bags I bought. I'll definitely be doing like a bag for my giveaway when I, when I reach a thousand subscribers. In my um, Fan Fit Fun Part 1, I had gotten these TOYs. I cannot say that word because my dog is sitting right here. You guys will see me all the time. I'm always looking to my left because um, my dog is right over there in the hallway. She's So I got another set of plushies. Plushies are her favorite. She doesn't want any like rope toys. She doesn't want uh, balls. Or, well, unless it's like a mini basketball or like a soccer ball or a volleyball, like she'll play with those out in the yard. Oh, uh, a kimono. Like a, like a shawl, you know, kimono. Fall is coming up like this is like really, really soft. It's pink. It's got a little fringe on it. You see? It just kind of like drapes over your your back and this is it I kind of like them when they yeah yeah I like it when they attach where it has like an armhole it's just a little bit but then it kind of like pulls it in just so it's not so drapey and it kind of helps keep it on so I love kitsch um, scrunchies so they had like a five pack of like their little scrunchies so I grabbed those um, the IGK crybaby 72 hour frizz control smoothing serum some Sigma brushes. Okay, which ones are these? These ones, maybe these ones don't say anything. Okay, I feel like I already got this one. The F79 Concealer Blend Kabuki. Can I just show that one? F79? Yeah, but it's in like a different packaging. Anyway, so I got another one of those, I guess. And then a chisel and trim contour F77. So it's like a Kitsch Claw. I like the brand Kitsch with their hair products. And then I think they also have like their satin uh, pillowcases. I use those too. A bandana. Can you guys see the brand? Should I take it out? What is that? Fry? Fray? Anyway, look at what the original price is. <gasps> $45 for one of these? I don't... Anyway, I think they had it for like five, 3 to $5 or something, so I grabbed it. I didn't... I guess I didn't pay attention what the original price was, but... Do people really pay $45 for a bandana? Do you? They're like $1.99. $45 guys? Come on, who is seriously like, who would pay $45 for a bandana? Be honest with me. Live the sweet life. Looks like we've got some sunglasses in here guys. Oh, peach tree. Ready? Here we go. We're going on a ride guys. I don't think these are for me. All right. I don't know. I don't see it because my my face shape, I think they're too like they're But I love love picking up um sunglasses at FabFitFun. Um why is it super super sandy? But anyway, you can pick them up for um really cheap you know like I hate I don't like spending a lot of money on sunglasses because my little ding dong brang um, I'll forget that like they're on top of my head and then I'll hit my head on like the door frame or you know like getting like getting in and out of the car door frame you know um, and then they'll crack or you put them down you forget them somewhere and oh my god everything in this box is super dusty I think it's my, um, because I live out in the country, I like all these dirt roads, like everything feels like it has sand on it. And then all my boxes, like you put it down and it'll go poof. 
Like, it, that's how grubby they get. Okay. But, so, Billion Dollar Brows um, Pro Brush Essential Kit. What's, what's the kit? Is it a set of brushes? Yeah, so we got a whole bunch of brushes in here from Billion Dollar Brows. So I'm just going to try and whip through these really quick. Um, insert name here, Super Shine Serum. Ellen Tracy, I thought this was really cute. Um, I think it's like a pill case, your vitamins or your medications um, for like your purse or whatever if you want to carry them with you. Because um, sometimes like those long trays, um, they'll pop open. So I like that it's compact and then it's like protected in like a zipper pouch and then it also looks really cute. The brand, I believe, is Design Me, and then the Puff Me is what the product's called. Volumizing Powder. Powder? Primer. Living Proof. I love their dry shampoo, so I actually have this on the, a repeat purchase. Like, every season, they send me um, a new one of those. And then I picked up the Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. I've been try, trying to get into a lot more, more of like root lifts, texture sprays, things like that, trying to give my hair more oomph and volume. Living Proof Full Root Lift. So we got that. Everything is just dusty. The Ula Henriksen, um, you guys, I've been hearing so many really good things about this. Um, and then FabFitFun had it, so I snatched one of those up. I want to say... If memory serves, this whole kit was like $39. And I can't remember what the retail value was, but it was way higher. Way higher than that. So this, what does it say it on here? So I don't know what this one is. So we are just going to open it and just um, see what's inside. What do we got in here, guys? The cute polka dotted paper. I like, I love that. Anyway, I got the NARS blush, the color Deep Throat. Uh very pretty a nice like lighter one um, I can see it on the camera it's showing up a little lighter than what it actually looks like it's a little more brighter than what I can see on the camera living proof van frizz vanishing oil and then it has the word frizz like crossed out like that's cute uh, the mud masky vitamin a booster blue clay mask I love clay masks I try to do them like once a week and then I Okay, glow recipe. Remember you guys in, on FabFitFun uh, part one, I had the, the avocado something. So this one, watermelon. Love watermelon. Um, pink juice moisturizer. I love their packaging. They're or, the 100% organic wool dryer balls. You put them in there and it kind of helps like it kind of beats up like your towels and you know things like that uh, doesn't it like help like fluff everything up is that the purpose of this these are handmade in Nepal Ooh. and then of course the last thing in here is Luxie makeup brushes because you know I need makeup brushes I don't have any makeup brushes that's a lie such a lie. If you guys had seen any of my videos, you know I have a makeup brush problem. Anyway, so there they are. Wonderful makeup brushes. We're just going to start tossing stuff off to the side. So sorry for if this is in the shot. Can you guys see all my mess over here? Whatever. We're friends here, right? This, I mainly got this. This probably won't get a lot of use and I'll probably just tuck it in a closet. But like around the holidays and stuff, when you've got like everyone over, um, there's like limited comfortable seating. Depending on your house and you know, whatever. So this is like a really nice big floor cushion. Oh, the younger you are, then you get the cushion on the floor because if I get on this cushion, I ain't getting back up. I got, I have old bones. Isn't that cute? It's got like in the, the middle, it has that print on there, but it's just gray and gray. I love it. I thought it was just so cute. Looks like I got another bag, but wait, 
this I believe is a cooler bag so technically technically it doesn't count so this is a cooler bag living out in the country like where I live in the country my driveway is 850 feet long nice and private out here but anyway going anywhere um, like if I go to the grocery store, especially if I want to go, like if I want to go grocery shopping, um, get something really quick, I have to drive. It's about 15 miles. If I want to go to a, like a bigger grocery store, I have to drive uh, 40 minutes. If I want to go to a town that has everything, like my Ulta and my Sephora and um, like Sam's Club and all those other stores, I have to drive an hour and 20 minutes. So when I go to like my Sam's Club and stuff like that, bringing things um, home and trying to keep them cool. So this is a nice cooler bag. Um, if we end up going to like the state fair or wherever, you want to like pack some drinks and keep them cool in the car. That's why I got this. It's a cute little, could not pass this cute, cute umbrella I'm not gonna open it because it's bad luck to open umbrella inside I'm just kidding I'm gonna open it I'm not superstitious anyway so this is a Isaac uh, Misera Miseraha Miserahi Isaac Miserahi am I saying that right I'm so sorry but anyway you guys look at the cute um, gold handle Got the gold little button there. What do you see like inside? You guys, it has polka dots. There's polka dots. I love polka dots. Isn't it cute? Polka dots. Oh. I got it. Got it. Anyway, I wanted a cute, compact umbrella. And I'm really happy with like the size of it. I was, I'm surprised on the size of it. All right, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. Every time I see these videos of people doing their little shopping, their little whatevers, and they're like, ooh, is this bamboo? I don't know what that feels like. I don't have anything that's bamboo. Where people, oh, oh, is this bamboo? And it's like, I want to feel it. What do, what do you got? Well, you guys, they had pillowcases that were bamboo. But I kid you not, this is so friggin' soft. I now know what you guys are talking about. Like, oh, so now I can go, is this bamboo? This is bamboo, isn't it? It is, isn't it? This is so soft. Anyway, they had, I can't remember what the price was, but again, like a deal you can't pass up. So it's a set of two. Oh my goodness. You guys, those are nice. They're just like white pillowcases, but. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Summer and Rose. I but you guys, look at this thing. Oh, here, try and feel it through the camera. Can you guys like just, oh my gosh. It's, it's almost like you're touching a rabbit. Like it's so soft. It's like so soft. Maybe I'll have this be a Christmas gift for somebody because honestly, I don't need any more blankets. But I might have this be my buddy in my recliner when I'm watching movies at night. <laughs> Hush, you hush your mouth. I got more bags. <laughs> I have more bags. But these are also more cooler bags and these are bigger cooler bags. And these ones, I do remember what the price was. They're saying retail value on these were $100. Do I believe that? I don't know. You guys, $100 for a cooler bag? Like what's it made of? For, it, for you to say it's worth $100. But either way, re it's my cat. My cat might be coming up here to say hi. But anyway, um, so they were $15. So 
So even if it really isn't originally $100 retail value, $15 for a decent sized cooler bag, I'll, I'll sign up for that. That's, that's, I would say it's worth that. $100 though, you guys, come on. Really? Like, am, am, I don't know. So they're saying, here's the brand, the L Space, it's called. I don't know if you can read it, but it says L and then like a star and then space, the word space. Actually, I thought it was going to be bigger than this. But either way, this is a decent size. It's decent size. You've got the, you know, it zips all the way around. Anyway, okay, you guys, I think we're going to wrap this one up. Um, we are done with FabFitFun Part 2. I will see you guys for Part 3.